Hi everyone, my name is Heidi Bostic and I'm independent designer with Chalk Couture and I'm going to finish, try to get a lot of it done um, in this next segment, my bags. I have three done so I have nine more tags to make. I want to show you what I've done. I did take clothespins, like small clothespins, they're about two inches, and I put them... I'm going to take this apart so you guys can see. So the clothespins are right here. And I took little white disc and I painted them and I chalked the number on there. And I got that all staged on my stand. Then we have our little paper bag. Hi, Jacqueline. So I have a little paper bag that's sitting there in front of it and I did tie some ribbons on. So we're gonna go and do the rest of the tags for the lower part of this tree. What we probably won't get done is what I'm gonna do up here, but it's a start. It's a little bit of an ambitious project. I worked on it last night. I got all my tags painted. Then this morning I took and painted the little numbers and glued all that on there and kind of had my my action plan but I like it's kind of fun doing something ambitious right I love it I think it's gonna be super cute okay so here are my tags and I just painted them red they're not painted super good they're kind of have that little bit of a rustic feel to them and we're gonna lay out and do three at a time I just washed the second part of the transfer because I used the numbers. Hi, Elaine. Um, so if you're new watching, let me know where you're watching from. And I always like to know. I'm nosy. I'm not that I'm nosy, but I just like to see where, where I'm reaching. I am in North Pole, Alaska, and it's a little chilly out today. So I'm going to cut these into three rows, and the first one we're going to do is four, I think it's called four hummingbirds, and I was going to see how, I should have brought over, see this one, I, I'm going to wait for this one to dry before I can cut it. Okay, and we're not use. I already did the number part. So, I'm gonna let that dry and we'll do this. So, let's do the hummingbird on here. And I think I'm gonna do the hummingbird in green. I'm trying to stick with I kind of want traditional colors, so I have gray, green, gold, um, we can use white if we have to, I have shimmer white, and candy apple, and let's see, I think that should be good. So let's do the hummingbird, hi Debbie. Hi, Pauline. I forgot you're off today. Yay. <clears throat> okay. I feel like I have a mess everywhere. I promise. <laughs> but I just felt the need to craft today, right? Do we ever have that need that we just need to craft? So I'm going to do the body of the hummingbird green. And you just put that on super quick and then carefully peel this off. I did not fuzz. Oh gosh. You know what I forgot to do, guys? Wax. Okay. So let's not do that. I may have to paint one more. We need to wax this. That was the only thing I did not do. Hi, Linda. So remember to take some of our wax. 
this is just, I cut these tags out of, um, last year our pumpkins and our trees came on a really thin board. And that's what I'm using. See, Heidi makes mistakes too. Wax, wax, wax. Sometimes you have to wax. It depends on um, your paint that you paint with. It just depends on what you've got underneath and the transfer, how sticky it is. So I'm gonna get these all done. I may have to repaint that one. Hi, Danny. Hi, Nikki. I decided to come on early today. The house should be fairly quiet. I only have one daughter home, and my husband's not due home for a little bit. Oh, goodness. I'm bummed. All right, let's see if I can let's see how fast we can fix this one. I'm just going to take and wash it off. Okay, we're going to dry it when we dry these wax because it is good to heat up this wax. Hi, Rhonda. So just go over it with a hair dryer or um, a heat tool. Just really quick, you're just melting the wax a little bit. And then I'm going to take the same thing and just kind of buff it really quick. Last night I used a paper towel, I don't think it matters. Okay, now this one here, let's touch this one up. Hi, Auntie Linda. How are you? You see my face. See, we haven't seen each other in so long. I so wanted to come see you when I was home in July. Okay, so just give it a quick coat of paint again, and then I'll have to remember to wax this one. So, all right, so we got that done. Let's see if I can set this down. And then we'll do a little bit of wax on that one. All right. Give that a good buff. And we are back to square zero, so we should be able to hopefully do this again. So I'm going to stack these up. They're all waxed. I shouldn't have an issue. I do have my fuzzing cloth here if I need to. Oh. And, and I'm not gonna wash this transfer just cause it's, um, it should be okay. So let's re-chalk the hummingbird. Much better, much better. Okay, and then we'll set that aside and dry. And we're gonna just do um, one row at a time, basically three numbers. This one's five golden rings. So of course, you know what color we need to do this one. 
can use our gold glitter paste. Super quick and easy. And just carefully peel it off. And we'll let that dry. And then the last one here, six, is it six swans? No. Is it six swans? I can't even remember. Hi, Lynn. Aloha, right? <laughs> so excited to come to Hawaii. All right, this one, I can't remember what it is. Six geese laying. Right? Six geese laying. <laughs> guys are supposed to be singing along with me, helping me. All right, I'm going to give... Geese are usually white, but they have orange noses. They have bright orange. Or do they not? Do they have black? They have black. So we'll do black for his beak. Y'all are too quiet. I wish I knew... I need, almost need a picture to sit with me here to see it all come together. If it doesn't look right, we can always fix it, right? So what everybody do this Saturday... It looks like snow in our forecast. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside. You can wash these and then reuse it. Hi, Dolly. <clears throat> we can wash that transfer and reuse it. So if you wanted to sit down and make a bunch of these, you could. So now we're going to take, I'm going to, this should be almost dry. We'll start over again. Actually, I'm going to close these up and we're going to put that transfer back on the sheet, the second one, and cut it apart. If I can, let's see, without moving too much. So I washed this this morning, or just washed it a little bit ago. Oh, goodness. It's going to be easier to lay it down like this. Okay. Oh no. When does all your stuff come, Rhonda? Or have you, do you have your stuff? Okay, so I'm just cutting along the row of each one of these. There's that one. I'm just looking at this to figure out where to cut. I'm assuming that's part of 11 Lords. Okay. So we're working on this one right here. Now we will make sure this is dry. Make sure when you do do this that it comes back to room temperature before you stick the transfer on. This one's dry. Oh, 
well, that was good. So you get to start all over again. Or just live on the light side. I kind of wish I'm ready to do that some days. You know? Okay. So this is the I and the beak. And there's music notes. But look at how the music note is over here. I'm going to go back and put some over on this side too. Hi, Lee. All right. So on the beak and his eye, I think I'm going to do his eye white. <clears throat> and we could do gold for the hummingbird beak in the music note. <laughs> Alicia, can you bring me a water, please? Alicia, can you bring me a water? Okay. So then we have the beaks there. And I'm going to put down here, we'll do the other two music notes, hopefully, without messing up that part. I think I'm a little dehydrated. I got a headache. Sometimes I get busy doing stuff and I forget. Sorry about that, guys. Tell her I'm live. Text or message her. Okay, so there's our little hummingbird. Hi, Helen. So then we'll do our golden ring. I'm going to remove. <laughs> Helen's trying to, to text Helen. She's trying to FaceTime me too. <laughs> oh, God. Where's Helen? She texted me. So just put her. You have to FaceTime her or message her on there. On message message? Just, yeah. <laughs> on messenger. On messenger. These crazy people just tell her I'm live. She might see me. Are you here, Helen? Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna do like a diamond ring. We're gonna do it in white and it's oh so flashy. And actually what you could do, this may not show up very well. You could do white behind it and then make it more. It'll pop more. But we'll see how this looks. Did she get text or slogan? Like, by the way. I don't know. No, I don't know. There's that one. And I think I think it would look better with white underneath of it. So let me show you. Let's dry this. Did she see it? Did she see it? See what happens when I go live in my abnormal time. Okay, so let's do this one over in white. And then we'll dry it and do another layer of um, see how much more that pops off there. Okay. And I'm just making sure that that's kind of back to room temperature. And we'll lay this back down. Hi, Karen. How are you? 
Yeah, it's kind of, it looks, it looks like it's going to snow. It's cloudy out. Okay, now we're putting the sparkle on top, and I think, guys, you'll see a huge difference. You may not be able to see the sparkle, but it definitely looks a lot, like, it's not so opaque, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's not so opaque anymore. Okay, so there's tag number five. Now we have our swan. He's a weird shape. I feel like I did the swan backwards. Um... I think I did do him backwards. So, <clears throat> that's okay, we can re-chalk it again on top, the wings. You're here, yay! <laughs> that's why, it's like I had two phone calls back to back. So, the swan, I'm gonna do this part in white. Oh, that looks good. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna go, because everything is white underneath, I'm gonna do the shimmer white over the wings. So let me lay that one down there. Do you have a good day? Everybody have a good day? Okay. So then I have my swan right here. Six geese, not a swan. Thank you for correcting me. Thank you for correcting me. So what color should I do him? So geese are... These are usually multicolored, like browns and blacks. Should I do this, do the wings, this part in gold? Or black? Choices, you tell me. What color should I do? Because the swan's going to be white, definitely. I'm wondering if I should not do this original part white. <clears throat> we can fix it now. How about, let's do this gold body of it gold there we go I'm gonna stick this back on here <clears throat> And she brought me water. Let me drink some water because I'm like. I have not been good about drinking water today. Do this. And then we'll do the overlay part in black. That really pops on there when you do it like that. Okay. Let's 
kind of fun to figure out how you're going to color these. You know, it's different. They're, it's just unique. It's, you know, you can do these whatever color you want. I'm just trying to match up what I had. Okay, so we'll do this in black. That looks better. There's that one. So that completes that row. Let me send, put these back on. So what I do when I'm, because I'm going to go to the sink and wash these after, I'm going to lay these back on the transfer that they go on. And then we can wash them. Who's sticking with me? I'm going to grab this one, has a little bit of touch up on it that I need. Um, goodness, goodness. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of gold and just touch up right there, hopefully. There. And you can't even tell I fixed it. Alright, <clears throat> now to the next one. We're going to do... We have... Six, so we're going to do seven swans. And I might have to turn the swan a little bit to get the whole swan on there. And I'm not going to do his little beak. I'm going to do his beak, I think, in gold. Or actually black. I'm going to have to start putting my phone in airplane mode. Okay, so let's, I'll set, uh, what I'm going to do is set these aside until they're dry, and then we'll go back to them. So we have these done. We'll set this one aside. The next one is milk can. Seven maids of milking. <clears throat> And I'm going to twist this a different way and I'm going to use silver on this. This is an ambitious project. The designer that came up, did this, I couldn't even imagine. I don't think she created it live either, but it is a, a lot of work. Let's 
There's your milk can. Nine. These are ballerina shoes. Let's do them. What color should we do them? Choices. I need choices, guys. I have, so the overlay part of it is going to be this. So I'm thinking the inside part, let's do, let's do them green with gold. What do you think? Pink. I wish I could do pink, but I don't I don't think I want to do pink on here. I don't think. Just because I'm trying to stick with traditional colors. Traditional Christmas colors. Pink would look cute though. They are super cute. Okay. You guys, you love that pink. I know. Ballerina shoes should be pink. I agree. I agree. And if I don't like it, we can always go back and change it, right? That's the beauty of this. <clears throat> My milk can kind of went off the edge here. <clears throat> if you lightly... Whoop. I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay. Hi, Maggie. So let's take our swan. We're going to go back to the beginning here, and we're going to do the second layer of the swan. Um... What is that? I do not know what that little part is right here. I am stumped. I might have to go get my computer and kind of look and see what it is. Because it lines up. Oh, I know. I'm not going up far enough. There we go. Okay. Yep. Is it the crown on the swan? So, okay. Yep. That's what it is. Okay. So let's do this part in black. And we'll do the face in black. Actually. We can do all that in black. It's not going to do the whole crown because of the angle that I have it on, but it'll still look okay. There's that. You guys are so smart. So, so smart. And we'll do milk.
could I get for not having the book close by so I can look at it? <laughs> right? So we got our milk. And I may have to touch up on that a little bit too. And then we'll do the last part here. These shoes. Boy, they're long. I missed part of that. Oh well, that'll be okay. I'm going to display this, the one that I'm making at the store, on top of a cooler. I might make another one to keep here at Grandma's house, Nana's house. Oh, them are still pretty. I like it. Okay, we're down to the last three. And we can start putting this all together and then all I'll have left is the top part. Okay, so now we have the dogs are snoring. They're sleeping all around, like there's a couple over in front of me. Okay. I can't see it. What is it? Oh. I'm not going to get all the boots on there. Do what we can. Lords of Leaping Boots. Choices, choices. You guys are not helping me with colors. These are all my colors I have out here. What shall I do? I think I want to do the buckle part, which is the second part, in gold. Should we do the group boot screen too? Did you know today was National Vote Early Day? Black. Good idea. I do think there's going to be record turnout for voting. I do. Oh. I peeled up a little bit with it, but that's okay. Okay. Then... This one here, and I may not get all of them get all of it. This is going to be the trumpeter part and I'm going to do this part in silver. It must be the rings on the music instruments. So we'll do these in silver and it won't catch the second one. There's that. And then the drum. Let's do the drum in green black boots yep okay and we'll do the drum in green and the sticks in gold just scoot these aside I made sure I turned down my heat 
so the furnace isn't or the wood stove isn't going so my paste wouldn't dry so fast okay so we have that part done Okay, that one's not quite dry yet. So I'm gonna do the boots Hopefully I can match this up. There we go. And I'm gonna do this in gold, so I'll, gold, yeah, we'll do gold for all the buckles. Oh yeah, that looks good for the boots. And then we have the two, the er, pipes, 11 pipes of piping, right? Or 11, 11 Lord, I can't even remember. Don't ask Heidi, Heidi's obviously not very good at this. <laughs> That's okay. There's that. Oh. And then we have this and I think it will be perfect I can either do it in gold or silver I think we could do both you know because the instruments are silver or gold so let's do the drum part silver we are done Don't panic, pull car if they stick like this, just pull it nice and slow. All right, these are done. So let me put my tools away really quick and I'm gonna show you the rest of this will be super easy. So I can do a couple of them and show you what I did on the top. And then I will let you guys go. I just don't like to leave my paste open any longer than I have to. Who's ready for Christmas? I think I think everybody is so excited for Christmas because that means this year is almost over. And hopefully 2021 will be so much better. Right? All right. So as I did on these, we'll start with the 
first three that we did right here I took some <laughs> it's just so much fun so I had I took some of this buffalo plaid ribbon and I cut it at eight inches so I'm just going to cut a whole bunch of these at the same time measuring I just love the texture of this buffalo plaid. I wonder what, it will be hard, I bet you it will be hard not to be, oh that'll be good, that'll be good Rhonda. I bet you it will be hard not having a white Christmas though, because you, you won't have snow will you? Let's see how many I got. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need three more. And I'm not going to make you save for all of these. I'll just get a, these three cut and then I'll show you how I'm clipping them on there. Two, one more. Okay, I'm just going to take and I tie these on. This is going to be my one that secures my ribbon. So then I have these ribbons here. And I just take a short piece. Let's see how long that is. It's about four inches. And I have two, two, pe two pieces of ribbon. And you can just pinch it up. And tie this here in a double knot. I know. I know it is it's hard because snow is so pretty Alaska snow is so pretty because it's just so white and I'm just angling the ribbons I'm not doing fancy cut on them Can't wait to see the inside of your home. Are they still building building it or is it you have to close on it? Helen still here watching? Are you watching with dad? I know it's his bedtime. I just like to double knot this one. Okay. And then one more. There's so many cute things at Walmart this year for doodads and for crafting. That's where I found this ribbon. Alicia's out there carving a pumpkin. Sellers won't be moving until just before Thanksgiving. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> Like you know me? Yeah, you better hide it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? No, it's not. It's fine. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> I'm good with it. Two things we don't discuss. Politics. I don't like discussing politics. Even though I have a strong opinion about it, but it's all good. So there's that. So I have these three done. And then what I did is I took, because I wanted just the bag to be clipped to the tree, I'm gonna take and put some bale twine. We need to cut this little buffalo plaid a little bit shorter. It's a little bit long. Who's still watching? Who's still here hanging out to see this all come together? Do you want me to do all of them so you can see all of it? Or do you just want me to put these three on there and give the idea? Actually, this one has four on there, so I should do one more. Four on this row. Really? I'm surprised because, yeah, well, keep your eyes open because there will be some really cute stuff. I'm surprised Joann's has not put out very much of their Michaels, um, or m of Christmas. Michaels has put m some of theirs out, and I, wonder, I don't think there's all of it yet. There's quite a bit of Christmas at Walmart still, and it's selling, it's selling like crazy already. Okay, let's do one more, which would be, I'm trying to remember what the next row would be. Um, Nine are going to be this. We'll do this one really quick and then I can put this row together so you guys can see. Hi, Bonnie. I love Christmas and it was... Even though I say that I would like to leave it up all year long, I think after a certain point I would be tired of it. <laughs> and I tell people all the time, it is North Pole, Alaska. And it's really hard to be in the fall spirit in fall when there's white stuff on the ground outside. We have about two inches of snow and getting more this week. <laughs> so... I just pretend it's winter because it is winter right all the Christmas stuff for Safeway came I, that was fun opening this week and then we're gonna put that up November 1st so many cute things I can't wait to get it all out of the boxes and see which ones I like the most Okay, here we go, doing the last piece of twine on this row anyways, and then we will put this all on here so you guys can see what it looks like. All right. So here's my tree. And all I have to do is hang this over 
so it drops just below the round thing. And I'm hanging it on the, the clothes pin that's there. So it's not even attached to the paper bag. How cute is that? Just like that. Still, oh, I, yes, I do remember Miss Pauline, November 1st. Hopefully by next, a week from Monday, they'll be out. So I hope you enjoyed that. So all I have is my bottom row of tags left to do. And then up at the very top, it's going to have 12, the 12 days of Christmas. And I'm just trying to decide how I'm going to do that at the top. So, but that is most of, you know, most of it. And then I just got to hang the rest of the trees there. But it's super cute, and I really, really appreciate you all staying and watching, and be watching to see the finished project. If you have any questions about Chalk Couture or joining my team, you want to sign up for your own discount, let me know. I'd be glad to help you with that. You all have a great day. Thanks for all the hearts. Bye!